Vantage Plus audience has completely changed the way people should be running Facebook ads. When this first came out, I was a little bit of a skeptic and the numbers never really made sense. But now I think it should be shared with y'all on exactly how to take advantage of this for your clothing brand. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what is Advantage Plus, who should be using it, is it you? And then the exact strategy and setup step by step. And yes, I will share screen and share the real numbers. Okay, so since 2020, we have been pushing people to stop doing interest and lookalike targeting. What are interest and lookalike targeting? This is like when you go there and say, I have a boutique like Pink Lily or a streetwear brand like Supreme and I wanna engage shoppers or a lookalike audience which takes all of your audience and then finds a, a version of it who looks kind of like them. That is what people used to do when I first started running ads back in 2014, 2015. Here we are years later and some people are starting to listen and reap the benefits of those suggestions about the way that we suggest to target. But now we are in a new era of Facebook ads marketing and more specifically, targeting. Let's get into what the options are today and how Advantage Plus works because if you know how this feature works, you'll be able to get better results for your brand. So what is Advantage Plus and really what did we do previously? So previously we used to suggest going broad with your targeting. Broad meaning age, gender, location, and then a new campaign for each country. However, right now what we're saying is, and you can still continue to do this, right? You have one campaign and you have an ad set and then you have the ad that goes on inside of there and I'll talk about the specifics of those types of ads here in a little bit but broad targeting and then let the creative do that marketing or targeting for you and that's still viable today you should still be doing that but there's a nuance to this let's talk about Advantage Plus what is Advantage Plus and how does it work so Advantage Plus is basically Meta or Facebook taking over more control of what's working and what they're doing is they're saying look you guys didn't listen to us about doing broad targeting you keep doing interest and so instead of making everybody flee away from Instagram and Facebook and everywhere else that we own WhatsApp, we're going to do something that we think is better. So you guys can create your own ads. Good job. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the targeting for you because you're not good at it. And that's honestly what they're saying. So Advantage Plus has like implicit and explicit targeting. And so the most layman's terms for this is like at first it's going to go after a group of people that are most likely to take action with your audience and with your ad. And so that's why you see whenever you start an Advantage Plus campaign that it does really well out the gate and then it dies out. So that's what was doing previously six months, eight months ago. Whenever this came, first came out and we were testing, we were like, man, this is awesome for two or three days and then it just dies. And it's because the explicit or the people that looked like the people who are going to buy was not very good. It's beginning to get smarter. More and more people are using Advantage Plus. We have more and more data and it's getting better. And I'll, like I said, I'll talk through you the full strategy a little bit later, but basically the reason Advantage Plus does, does well out the gate is because it goes after the hottest audience, the people who have engaged, the people who are looking for a streetwear brand and they happen to look at somebody else's and then see yours, the people who are shopping and looking for a new boutique, but then they found yours and then they make a purchase or the people who have went to your Instagram or your Facebook or engaged with you, but just haven't made a purchase yet. So it finds those people and puts your best creative in front of that audience and then has them take action. That is what made it so great before, but now it's getting much better at saying, ooh, these are people and it's creating, honestly, its own version of kind of like a lookalike audience. This is a good audience. This is an audience that's colder and colder. Let's show something to them. And if you follow the strategy we're gonna talk about later, this will all make sense because again, your creative will do the targeting. And I know I just said the Advantage Plus does the targeting, it does. But if your creative doesn't resonate to the right person at the right time, it's not gonna make any sense. In our OSO program, built for clothing brands, we do a lot of consulting. And one of the biggest opportunities for these brands is getting more data. Just like I said, not everyone should be using Advantage Plus. Honestly, like what happens is a lot of the gurus on the internet tell you to do these things, but don't mention that the actual people who should be using these features are people with big budgets or a ton of data. And what I mean by that is the first part, what I said with broad targeting, age, gender, location, and letting the ad do the targeting, that's gonna be your first step. And then as you get data, you should start to use Advantage Plus. I want you to be aware that using Advantage Plus in the very beginning with no data is likely a big waste of money. You may get a couple of purchases, and then what's gonna happen, it's kinda like when you go to the casino or something like that. Now, I'm not a big fan of the casino because I don't like giving other people my money. But maybe you're one of those people who are like, hey, you know, I lost nine times in a row, but I won the 10th. So I'm going to do another 10 in a row. And that's kind of the way that Advantage Plus works, meaning you're going to get some wins early on. And so you're like, yes, this works. My ads are great. And it's because it went to the hottest audience ever and they bought from you. And then the ad just dies out. If you don't have the data where Facebook or Meta can get 
enough information to continue to make consistent results for you, then it's gonna be a big waste of money. And honestly, it's gonna be a big a time suck as well because you're gonna think that the ad is doing well and you're gonna let it run longer than what you probably should have. Again, going back to my casino example, and you win one time and you're like, sweet, I'm still down $3,000, but this next one is gonna be, I'm gonna hit big. I don't want you to do that. Now, what I mean by data, I don't mean you have to have spent thousands or tens of thousands of dollars on ads. Now you could have, that's great, but you don't need that. There's no hard and fast rule as far as how much data, but I would say that you need to have at least a few thousand followers on Instagram or Facebook, or posting consistently and preferably reaching five to 10,000 people per month, meaning you're getting views and profile visits and everything like that on Facebook and Instagram, anything that's owned by the meta suite so that you can actually give data back to that platform. If you're running ads on top of that as well, I'll count that as, as part of it as well. But basically, as much data as you possibly can. Many people do your Instagram profile, as many people watching your content, as many people DMing you, as many people going to purchase from you. And the reason for that is because all of those are data points that Meta is using to make better decisions for your brand. Now, even if you do not have the data, I wanna let you know that if you have the right strategy, you can quickly start taking advantage of this new feature with the Advantage Plus Market. And listen, this is not the end all be all when it comes to ads. You can still make ads work very well without it. I'm show you the full funnel strategy and the targeting setup that makes this all make more sense. And what I mean by that is that you can start out without Advantage Plus and then add it in. Targeting is changing. That's the whole point of this video. Thank you for watching. But now what is the full funnel strategy for your targeting with your business? You can at least do the very beginning and then add on Advantage Plus afterwards. And it is a secondary add-on or bolt-on part of the strategy. Hold up just one second. I wanted to say that if you are a clothing brand owner and want to jump into the specifics of your brand and how to grow it profitably online, you can schedule a free 45-minute strategy session with us. There are limited spots. So go find a time that works best for you. you can check out the link in the description down below. Okay, so let's jump into Ads Manager. I wanna show you more specifically the full funnel here before everyone did this top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel. Let's talk through that and then what we want to do now. All right, so we are over here inside of Ads Manager and like I said, there is an old way and a new way. And the old way is to have a top of the funnel, a middle of the funnel, a bottom of the funnel type of tracking. So TOF, MOF, BOF, do not go that route. We want to do top of the funnel, new cold traffic with our messaging creative and letting Facebook do the actual hard work. So we have a top of the funnel advantage plus campaign. That's just poor labeling on this end for things that we have changed. Again, this is this month. We have not changed the title here. It's only spent about $5,000. What we are doing and what I'm sharing with you is literally what we are testing right now. To be completely honest, we are never not testing. Marketing, in my opinion, is always about testing and how do we continue to take our baseline and continue to improve it. And that's what I wanna share with you here. So we have a top of the funnel right now. And if you go into this ad set, you have multiple ad sets going on and they were a view content. We're like, why are we gonna test view content? I will tell you right now, do not do this. It is producing results. Do not copy us though. The reason for this is we were really struggling with this account because it would not go after new audiences. It kept reaching the same ones over and over again because it kept buying. Our lifetime value for this customer is insane. So if you are a new brand, I would not use this route because you want purchases. This is just literally trying to reach as many new people as possible and not what we suggest, but I wanna be transparent with you and say, look, we were testing view content for this campaign for this reason and only for that reason only. The main campaign that we have, and also you can go back to this look, and look, okay, so I wanna just give context. We spent 348 bucks, okay? This one we have spent $1,000. So we're spending significantly more, $5,000 on this one and then this testing campaign. So you have a top of the funnel DCT or dynamic creative testing campaign. We have one ad set going in here right now that is a winning one. We're gonna add in new ad sets as well. But really all we're doing is a testing. So we have this right here that is a winning campaign going after a new customer. And I'll show you what this looks like here. And we are testing multiple options here. There's actually four. They're all graphics with multiple types of text. The text is going after a cold audience, meaning that we're literally just saying, hey, look, you have no clue about the awareness of this brand, 
let alone even that this product was available. So they may be aware of some similar type of product. They're definitely not brand aware. They may not even be ready to buy. The level of sophistication that they're at to make a purchase is actually pretty low. However, we have an amazing offer. It's a $49 offer for a $130 product. We're trying to focus on acquisition, which is why at this point we are, and this, these are uh, meta numbers. So if anybody shows you this, just let them know that the numbers may be better or worse or whatever. Triple well is the actual uh, focus here. But anyway, so it's spending a very small amount of money per day, $170 a day. But what we're doing is we're testing between this one and then we're taking those winners the, from the testing and then we're putting them into the top of the funnel advantage plus campaign. One thing I forgot to mention, so let's go back here to the main is we have, this is website, website and shop is not something that works for us right now. That may change, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. The pixel is going for purchase and then we have dynamic creative checked on. This is what allows us to run multiple ads inside of one ad set and only have one ad running. Now this is running $170 a day, not really too much at that point. We are excluding past traffic. Typically we'd not, we left it wide open, but for this, we really wanted to make sure we go after new acquisitions and just really not show it to anybody else. I don't care if they've purchased it or not, because if they see this ad, they can only use it one time. So it really is specific to making sure to exclude it. Now this isn't the winning ad, the way we would do that and find this winning ad, I'll just show you this real quickly. Image and video breakdown. 20 of the purchases are happening here. 80 of the purchases are happening from this particular image right here. Some of the budgets getting spent other places. Frequency lifetime is, you know, 2.5. So it's still good. We're going after a pretty good, decent sized new audience there. That's the campaign. That's what we would have ran. And this is a Monday when we're recording this video. And what you'll see is that we'll add in a new couple of ad sets to put into our testing, which is think of this as top of the funnel testing going for new traffic. Now we have Advantage Plus taking care of everything else. And the Advantage Plus is very simple. Okay, so the Vantage Plus, we just labeled it as top of the funnel Vantage Plus. Technically, it could be middle of the funnel and bottom of the funnel because it's doing all of it. We have it set for a one day click, one day view, spending at $720 per day. And then we have some existing ads, which I'll show you here in a second. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward, just a typical Advantage Plus campaign. We are going for website, not website and shop. Uh, again, that may change. That shows you a little bit inside of there, not too much there as far as the ad set, just literally clicking the Advantage Plus. Okay, now on the ad level, you have many different options, but let's say for example, we have um, a catalog that's going for, actually that one's turned off, but we have a, here we go, carousel that's going on right now. This is a carousel of like, like uh, products that are available right now. So we have a carousel and then we have copy that is long form copy and short form copy. And we have copy that is focused on new customer acquisition as well as existing. So it's gonna show it to the right people at the right time. We have our real content. Again, this is one that's working. This is pulled over from Instagram. Uh, we also have our square image that's going on right here. So this one was our winning ad from inside of the DCT. However, if we look at this in the last seven days, let's see how it's doing. 154 purchases for $14. Frequency kind of high there. Most of our budget is being spent, looks like right there on the new customer. We have a reel that's spending a decent amount of money. Pink Roo is not spending too much. You're gonna use static images and carousels. And the reason behind this is you're gonna pull in your winning post IDs and your post IDs are gonna be able to scale. Maybe it's going after a new customer, maybe it's going after retargeting. And so when you're testing things, you're testing it into a top of the funnel campaign, sure, like I just said with a DCT, dynamic creative testing, and then the winners from that go into this Advantage Plus. And then the Advantage Plus campaign goes and targets the audience that is most likely to resonate with them. For us, this dotty one right now is going after a completely cold audience. This Instagram feed and pink roo and top 10 reel are actually going after a middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel type of audience. And that is who it's going to be, like the copy is resonating around. You do the targeting for the ad with your messaging, which is your creative, your hooks so inside of your videos, and then the content that is actually produced there. And then now with Advantage Plus, the whole point here with our targeting is that if you have both of them, so broad campaigns, and then your Advantage Plus campaigns, you have a completely cold audience that tests the creative, 
you take the winning created from this and you put it over here into Advantage Plus. That's why I always tell people use a catalog or a carousel as well, because those two together, along with your winning post IDs, are what's gonna allow you to scale. And so if you look at this one right here, that's why this one is getting $4,000 in spend in the last seven days versus the other ones were kind of distributed, right? We spent $7,000 in the last seven days, so $1,000 a day, but we're spending a significant amount more on just the Advantage Plus campaign. The main thing to remember here is that you want to have both a top of the funnel, a middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel type of creative and copy, just like I mentioned. You wanna have all of that when you're creating your ads and meeting people where they're at, the right person at the right time with the right message is going to be what helps you win at advertising, but Advantage Plus helps you take advantage of that because you don't have to worry about doing interest targeting or lookalike targeting. Those are basically completely obsolete. Let the creative do the marketing for you. If you guys got this far into the video and you want us to come up with our examples of what kind of creative is actually working right now, just comment the word foreplay and I'll send you the link with the ads that we're using to mimic and the ads that we're running right now so that you can go and copy those yourself. All right, so now that you have the inside scoop on how to run your targeting for Facebook, it's time to start building and scaling your Facebook ads step by step step. Go watch this video on that exactly right here next. All right, y'all have a great rest of your day. I will see you next time. And P.S. Make sure you subscribe.